What is good? What is good, my good YouTube people, man? We're back for another animated chapter. Now, I practically say this all every single week. And every single week, I do mean it. But this week, it is especially a great chapter, man. A very good chapter. I had so much fun with this chapter. Being honest with you, I read this chapter literally three times because I saw a spoiler on Twitter and I literally, as I read, I just kept skipping words just so I can get to the reveal. And every single time, the second time I did it again and the third time I actually read it and slowed down. But gosh, damn, I was so happy. We finally got here. We're finally here. She knows. Oh man. But I'm very happy that the reveal of Alice and I know that Denji's Chainsaw Man. And I'm very happy that I was right. The Chainsaw Man Club president was the only hope to Asa and Denji ship. Because remember, he's the only one besides Naita and Denji that actually knows about the date. He is the key. He will, in some way, shape, or form, bring them closer together. I can see it now. What do you mean, my boyfriend? I can see the conversation now. What do you mean, my boyfriend? He ditched me on a date. No, you went with him. And maybe just maybe this might lead to something more or goes nowhere but i feel like he is the driving force he is the one that's gonna push it ah, tatsuji there's a reason why tatsuji put him there it can't just be for nothing there's has to be a reason and speaking of people that can never do nothing for good reason this is the perfect pivot to fam what is fam doing what is fam planning she already knew what the rumor denji was so she already has all her information correct and throughout the chapter when everybody was getting a body part tasuji specifically showed us a panel where she got a piece of the body and didn't react and then the next scene is the elbow it could be innocent or it could be devilish in nature i don't know man if if i'm being honest i think fam might be looking to mess with something to do with Denji's digestive system or maybe possibly his brain to a point where he can't realize he's being he, he's hungry or he doesn't realize he's starving one way or another I feel like she either like emptied out his stomach or mess with his brain to a point where he doesn't realize he's getting hungry so that she can starve him to death or he starves to death by just acting and moving around naturally and then she can gain control of him i doubt fam would just let this opportunity slip right between her fingers there had to be a reason why she herself came here she herself put herself at risk this it can't just be well it can't just be just to get denji alone and to give asa what she wants because there's no way she plans to give asa what she wants she plans to use denji and asa both in order to defeat the nashadama's prophecy so i feel like there's a little bit more to meet her eye with her actions <laughs> I can see it now. I'm honestly, and I'm not gonna lie, I'm very surprised by this chapter by the reveal. I didn't think fam would even allow this to happen because her whole plan is gone now. How can she save Denji and kill Chainsaw Man at the same time <laughs> when they're one and the same person? How is she gonna keep the promise to Asa and Yuru? And another thing, the doctor, this guy is phenomenal. I personally think that he's a member of the special division like a secret operative that they just put in there just like you know a last resort just you know that he can like he can be the last line of defense for denji and you're probably asking well why did he wait so long to attack them well the answer is obvious he's part of the special division these guys are a little bit wacky have a little bit of a screw loose it's even showing throughout the entire chapter man he's like how dare you burn into my office and destroy the parts i've been taking apart i want an apology there's no way this is really chainsaw man no doubt about it yo this doctor is funny nah he, he's just he's just too nonchalant about all this there's no way he's a regular civilian i really 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 think he's part of the special division a sleeper agent or some form of kind because he's just too good <laughs> tasuji i'm not gonna lie there's so far i know there's two mangakas that are really good at dialogue tasuji fujimoto and gege from jjk gege um i don't think gege is as funny as tasuji but i will give him i feel like his dialogue is more realistic within the characters at least like they're more human and tasuji i like his dialogue far more because he's more funny but it's just the dialogue so out of the world that you're never expected i feel like with gege real people can have these conversations they just have to be funny and with tasuji fake people are demons are just funny and having the conversation at the same time and 
that leads me to the final bit, the Quan Chi. Ah, <sighs> yeah, man. I'm sorry. I, I don't see how they're making it out of this one, man. Tatsuji gonna have to pull some something out of the rabbit out of half for these guys to survive this. Euro, mm, I can see Euro being it. Euro and Katana having to be the one to take her on, so that way we don't have to get Denji reveal right now. And maybe Fam can pull something with Denji. Yeah, that's the only way I've seen them out of this. Because otherwise, they're kind of getting body. Quan Chi in base is just a monster. Like she, she's just one of. She's like arguably the strongest, uh, arguably top five strongest hybrid. I will put Denji. Maybe uh, it's it's arguably between her and Denji at, at this point. And I kind of lean more to Denji, but it, it's like she's like just the best. And this is just her in base. If she pulls out the, whew, she pulls out the scythe, it's over. Like she's just too good. She's really just the best. Oh, while I'm at it, <laughs> while I'm at it, um, on Twitter, um, I saw some very nice revealing pictures of Fumiko and your boy Yoshida on the timeline. They were um interesting to say the least <laughs> but um the one main thing that he focused upon was i believe it's like mid uh manga panels in which they showed yoshida in a grassy like location in which people are theorizing that yoshida was the big chainsaw man that killed yukiko oh gosh i hope i'm not forgetting her name it's yukiko guys i'm guessing um it's been so long yeah i believe it's yukiko yeah i'm i might double check it's yukiko so yeah <laughs> I have confidence in myself so yeah and upon further inspection of the chapter volume cover it is yukiko is um ups is right side up in an upside down forest and when you see yoshida he is he's well perfectly natural you know right side up in a right side up forest and the forests do seem to be similar and it kind of does imply that yoshida was the one that killed yukiko or at least that's a theory that's going on and it, and this would actually make sense to what Yoshida meant by his organization. It would, because like, it would explain why he wanted to keep Denji secret. Because, no offense to Denji, but he's kind of a ruggy loser dude. If people found out he was Chainsaw Man, I think the call to Chainsaw Man will lose a bunch of followers. And so him keeping a secret would be one of the things they want to keep. And at the end of the day, Fam's plan was to stop the Nostradamus prophecy, which does include death. So it kind of would link. And Yoshida is the perfect gentleman type. So I could see like he does fit the panel of the face chainsaw man that they had before. But I just can't see it. To be honest, um, it's not. It, the theory is not out of the world. It's uh, it seems a little bit out of the way. The theory only seems far off to me because of how Yoshida and Fam had their conversation. It seemed like he was trying to understand her goal, but if he was part of an organization, he would be more aligned. I don't think Yoshida would be like a grunt or a pawn. I feel like he would be one of the higher ups, and I feel like those two have a linear line of understanding of what they're planning. Instead, it seems like they were kind of restricting each other and how it go by. And that's really my only reason to believe that Yoshida might not be part of the cult. Or maybe he was just... Oh, no, he had to be part of it. Because I can't imagine him being part of the cult but not working with fam. Like the mastermind behind the scenes. But, yeah, that's kind of it. This was a great chapter. I had a lot to say more than I realized. <sighs> I love saying this, but I can't wait to see you guys next week, man. Please like, comment, subscribe. It's been B3. And stay animated.